name appropriately. E W two. Not really going to do multiple attempts today, just to get a playthrough of this, since Star Tropics is definitely one of the foundations of the channel. There we go. Bum, bum, ba, ba, dum. Let's see, what's the other one? Um, Citra for 3DS. I tried running that. And some games are okay on it, others have problems. Yeah, I'm actually having a difficult time figuring out which GPU I even want to get. Because it's probably... Oh, that guy doesn't usually walk that way. Um, gonna be something NVIDIA instead of AMD this time, because I've been rocking AMD for like close to, like say 20 some odd years now. It's about time I give the other kind of card a chance. <laughs> Jack's been trying to get you to get an unpatched switch. Well, I have one for sale. Just haven't found the found a new home for it yet. This would mark the third one that I've gotten in and installed 35 on. And oops. the FS has been using AMD for the same amount of time. Yeah, I don't even remember, like, ah, uh, look at this, ah, uh, that should be a reset, but we're not doing that kind of thing today, I don't think. Yeah, actually, it would have still been, uh, oh, what's their name? Crap, before it was AMD. Uh, ATI. Yeah, it would have been an ATI card. Ah, crap. This isn't cooperating so far. <laughs> yeah, it's really loud in here. I hope that the, um... Noise reduction is working properly. It's got the actual AC trying to do its thing and failing. We got the window unit in the window, and I got a fan set up to kind of blow the cool air in from the little side area where the window unit is into the rest of the room. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, the one that's in, um, like, the noise reduction that is in actual OBS is a lot better than the one that's in Streamlabs. It's kind of another one of those reasons, besides, that we'll add it to the very large list. Um, large list of reasons why I'm not going to touch Streamlabs ever again. Yeah, 3DFX, yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten to use one of those. It wasn't until Windows... Windows XP was, like, the very first time that I ever got a computer that actually had a actual um, GPU in it, or at least a 3D accelerator. So before that, it would have just been good old um, basic VGA. There we go. Got that skip, and out. We had the 3DFX Voodoo. I think I remember LGR talking about that. So he's had a bunch of Good videos and stuff. That might even be the one... Was that the one that he had the poster up? I don't know. It's funny now, you can even think about, oh yeah, I remember the LGR video from... And then you stop and think about it, and now it's like five years ago or something like that. <laughs> Time is getting silly, you know. You look at something and you're like, oh yeah, that was yesterday. What? It was five years ago? What? <laughs> So I got two and a half bottles of water already prepared. I'm ready to go on a water excursion and pick up some more. <laughs> you guess you're old, yeah. Or me, even... Even just saying you remember when the Nintendo 64 didn't exist. That kind of flags you as well. And... 
8.4 seconds, so that's how much time all that silliness with the girl in the red dress costs. Speaking of water excursion, you need to do more subnautica attempts? Ah, yeah. I still kind of feel like I need to actually play through and finish the game casual. It's just... I don't know, my experience playing it vanilla and blind was bad enough that I kind of don't feel like playing it anymore. Okay, spawn in the bottle. Yeah, yeah, my first game console was uh, ColecoVision. And I... See, I had Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. on it. Other than that, remembering anything else is kind of fuzzy at this point. I seem to remember the Zaxxon cart. And we had the attachment for it that would let you play Atari's 2600 games. So I had, like, the uh, Atari 2600 Pac-Man. 3D effects we do with the Creative Labs. The SB sound card. Oh yeah, Sound Blaster. Let's see, around 1995, we would have had a AST computer. I don't know the numbers exactly, I remember on the front of it was like AST, Advantage, Adventure. Had Windows 3.1 preloaded on it. And the sound card in that I think was a Vibra 16. I don't remember if that's actually like, oops, that was wrong. Um, Um, I'm not sure if that was a Creative Labs official one, or if that was like a clone. Oh yeah, Tandy Color? Oh, yeah, um, that was our first desktop PC, was a Tandy 1000 SL, I think the letters were on the end of that. It's interesting though, you know, Ran MS-DOS had the Tandy Deskmate software with it. Quite interesting. Creative Labs made some of the best speakers, yeah. Um, I don't think I ever had any of their speakers. I still have the speakers that came with the AST. I have to look and see what exactly they were. The speakers that I have right now, and I've had for like the past... 17 years are by Yamaha. Actually, initially got these speakers at the old house in order to use with a keyboard, like music keyboard that I got. And that was the first time I ever got a keyboard that did not have speakers built into it. I think at the time, I actually wound up using headphones with it more because the headphones I had sounded better than the speakers. But nowadays, it seems to be just fine to use them with what I got. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then the AST also had a dial-up modem in it. I don't remember what speed it was, though. I seem to remember dialing into AOL at 14... like 14.4 kilobits per second. Actually, the other thing, I've, we actually jumped around quite a bit from with well, different ISPs back then. So we did some time on AOL, did some time on the original Prodigy. And I remember one time playing this game that was part of the original Prodigy service called Mind Maze. And there's actually a simulator of that online if you do a Google search for it. You can still play the game almost the way it felt back in the day. The problem is now is the whole thing loads up instantly. But back when you played over dial-up, it had like these vector graphics, and you could actually see um, the image being drawn as it downloaded parts of it. And so like different um, objects would appear. You bought the Creative PC DVD Encore back in the day. Games a kit with Creative Labs speakers. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. It's two computers later. Because um, we went from the AST to 
a compact. Actually, it's a compact, which is still sitting on the desk right here, only nowadays it's holding the monitor up so that it's level with all the other monitors. The next compact after that had a DVD drive in it, and I still remember that's when we bought our very first DVD, so we could test the DVD drive on the computer to make sure it was where, uh, uh, make sure it worked. Oops. Okay. So the very first DVD that I ever owned and still have was Galaxy Quest. Yep, with uh, Tim Allen and uh, Alan Rickman and um, Scorner Weaver, etc. The day DVD coding was done on a separate card, yeah. Yeah, totally. It would absolutely bog down your CPU if you didn't have the right stuff for it. <laughs> yeah, so it had the DVD drive in it, but it also had a CD burner as well. I remember picking up my first blank CDs in order to test that as well and make sure it was working. It's funny, like this computer right now and actually, the optical drive came from the previous PC. I just brought it forward because I'm like, I'm not going to buy a new optical drive for building the new computer. But it's simultaneously uh, it's Blu ray, DVD, and also CD burning. So it's like basically everything in a single drive. Pretty handy, though. Yeah, this terrible room. The bad thing about this room is that all of the motions of the monkeys are basically RNG. So you can't really get any sort of consistent pattern to it. Right there. Let's see, I'm going to grab just one set parts this time. Your DVD is now. Oh yeah, the plug. Oh, hey, 83 KY, what's going on? Ah, crap. Yeah, these boneheads went completely wild. Oh, okay, that's not going super great. Go ahead and play that a little bit safe just to get out of the dungeon. Burning CDs back in those days, scariest risk of ending as a failure was always there. Yeah, and you set the program to, um, like, maximum priority, or maximum CPU priority. And then also close every single other program that you had. Plus, if you, like, bump the tower... Or even just walked on the floor too hard. <laughs> The vibrations go up into it, and this would be bad. Hmm. I also remember all the different weird experiments you had to do as well with trying to burn the disc at different speeds. Because, of course, I had the equipment to play backups on PlayStation 1, and that was kind of picky as to what uh, speed you'd burn the disc at. <laughs> DFS King, I, um... Uh, notification that somebody tasked Desert Buzz. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's possible if it's because uh, it's going to be um, not true RNG. It's going to be pseudo random number generator. So it's entirely possible that if you give in the same inputs every single time you play that, it would consistently work. That's the kind of thing that I figured a bot would be better at, because you could have, it could monitor the pixels on the screen and automatically press the button to push the bus back into the center of the lane whenever it started to drift off there. Time to complete was never right. Yeah, it, does, it depends on what percentage you're going through. If you're just going through single point percent, I think all you have to do is drive all the way to Las Vegas and back, and that's one point. So what is that? That's like eight hours, or... I don't know, something crazy. Push left every 20 frames, really? That's all? That's the only thing to task? Uh, now you need a, now you need a tasking program that supports macros. 
So you just tell it, repeat this sequence of inputs um, like 100,000 times, then delay it by however many frames as it gives you your point, and then repeat. <laughs> See, there's also the random... Oh, okay. Be careful through all of this. Um, the random bug that splats on the windshield isn't there. And yes, we get to enjoy the old beep percent here for a while. Okay. Probably have a strategic jump in the water somewhere here. I'm actually starting to learn about more of those, because that's... Okay. Good strategy to have in races. Okay. Extra jump in. Get all the stuff. Oh, I did it stupid there, actually. I don't know why I went all the way over to the other side. That is not something you do. <laughs> I'm a little bit frazzled today. Yeah, it looks like it's 83 degrees in here right now. Funny. Funny coincidence, actually. Dun, 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 dun. It was up to, like, 84 earlier before I put the window unit in, and that's kind of... kind of beating it back down into submission here. So, like, what's going on is the fan on the heat pump is not spinning up to the correct speed at all. It's just kind of very slowly spinning, so it's not really doing a whole lot for getting that airflow over the out outside coils. I was actually thinking about taking a box fan and laying it down on top of the heat pump. I have done that before, but the fan actually burnt out the one time I did that. I want to check wait the fuses. I mean, I don't know about that. What I've had experience with most frequently failing on these things is there's a capacitor for starting up the fan. And so if it just sits there and buzzes at you and doesn't start turning, that's quite often what the cause is there. Stuff ready here. Buffer jump all the way across. So many rooms in this that seem scary, but it's actually just your basic. But for all the motions, and you're good. I can hear the game, but I can also hear all the fans too. Let's see, zero counts. I think Artition doing the other strat where you actually hit the button on this side of the room first, and then you go and hit the button on the other side of the room, which sort of makes sense, because the time that this animation is taking place, you can use that time to walk back across the room to get over to the other side there. Okay. I think that might be the problem I am having with the speedrun controller. Oh, you've done it. Yeah, I'm in it behind. I'm in it behind. That's fine. Not really a serious run. We just get the one shot at it and then move on to other stuff. So, kind of continuing the tradition of revisiting Frog Fractions, but not actually playing Frog Fractions today. Uh, I'm going to take us on an adventure through Glitter Mitten Grove. Which is interesting, because it's this whole standalone game, but hiding inside of Glitter Mitten Grove, if you do the right stuff, is Frog Fractions 2. <laughs> I have a few other things lined up too, though, that are kind of necessary in order to get the full appreciation. Yeah, because it includes 
like references to other games, but one in particular that I want us to spend a bit of time on. Oh yeah, I forgot to change the buffer lengths in uh, voice meter after restarting the computer. So if I sing along with any of the music, it's probably going to be out of sync again. So like voice meter defaults to having like a 7,000 sample buffer on everything. But I go in and turn it down to 2,000 instead, since my CPU can handle it. Oh, this mummy is going all over the place. We got invisible ghosts in this room, so we just do a very specific set of movements, and we get in and out, out, making contact with a single ghost. Another ghost. You just hop right there, and he flies underneath you. Careful not to pull a gnat right there. So when I have a spare moment too, I can probably reach over there and actually probably after the game's done, honestly. Let's go and flip the thing around and set it to what it needs to be set to. Okay. The rest of this is okay, but that first jump there, where you also have to take out the bat, it's kind of sketchy because there's no no point of reference for when to do the jump. Okay. So I paused for a short bit there after the first Armstrong. It actually seems like that might have helped make sure that the second Armstrong would spawn in on the correct side of the room. Hey, I think get back here. So correct strat for mummies is still to get right next to them, like exactly one tile away. Then you can do the rapid fire, smack, 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 smack with the yo-yo. And I, I'm trying that, but I cannot pull it off. And I don't really, don't really know what the secret is to that. Might need to find somebody who includes their um, inputs on the screen during their run. Study that. Okay, time for the wizard robes. Boop. Last one. I think the star drop might have actually been preventing the last one from spawning in. Smash that like a crazy person. No, this is fine. I got plenty of life. Just take the hit there. Let's get this ready because we got another round of this robes. A good pattern out of them. Oh no! I think the boneheads have the same uh, movement script as the monkeys. Which is clearly the reason why they're so incredibly trolly. Maxi with half a heart. <laughs> Better than having to repeat Ghost Village, I suppose. So a few seconds here while the water drains. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to change that now. In the off chance I managed to save any time, <laughs> can't have a PB with the audio suddenly skipping. So I'll just fix that after the game's done. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you've done it. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Gold Ghost Village. Yep, yeah, Ghost Village is still the primary dungeon where I look at it, every time I get gold on it, I'm like, why was that gold? <laughs> so I reached a rather unfortunate situation where the last time I re-watched through uh, Bug Doctor's run, I didn't have any new uh, strats really to take away from it this time. Because I remember I did my first couple of runs, and then I went and watched the world record run. And I had enough of a frame of reference to be able to understand what was going on. Getting ready to do the one. Yeah, now it's just all nasty stuff like getting right up on top of the enemies so that you can smack them faster when they take multiple hits. Also, lots of good RNG as well. Things like Octo coming down fast, Turbos coming down fast, as well as Cooperative Zoda. So the basic strat for Zoda is to keep him on that little arena where all the, the grid of tiles is spaced out. So you can hop around, and Zoda can hop around, and want to stay diagonally away from him. That way you can hop. Well, whenever he jumps in front of you, you give him a couple smacks. A couple smacks and then hop out of the way. And you keep this up until he's dead. If he hops off of the arena, then he's off the grid. So it looks like what you're supposed to do is hop off after him, get right up next to him, start smacking him, rapid fire in his face. And then when he gets ready to jump, you have to, like right when he jumps, um, you have to walk, like you have to move up one step. So basically you run under him while he's jumping over you. And it's just like, ooh, you know, it's sketchy, <laughs> extremely sketchy. Okay, and then we go for the free life refill of a couple extra... Oh, crap. Well, there goes that. <laughs> any of you got anything? No. Oh. Okay. I just get to do the next dungeon without Shooting Star unless something along the way here becomes very generous. Yeah, even this room becomes interesting without the shooting star. Yeah, so... That's kind of the thing, is that Zoda is just like Mike. He's got jumps where he jumps in a specific direction, but he also has neutral jumps as well, where he just pops straight up and straight back down again. The problem with that is if he does a neutral jump and you walk up, well, now you're walking into him and you wind up very dead. Yo, Shadow, it's for happy stream recipe. Yep, just starting out with some hopeful acquisition of space drugs to kick things off. <laughs> uh, I had an, ad an intentional swim a little bit earlier, doing the um, free quote unquote health recovery strat at a checkpoint. 
This is not the smoothest run, but then again, I didn't do any warm up or anything. I was just like, no, we're just gonna, just gonna do a nice, uh, nice, happy, fun time playthrough. Then move on to other stuff. Yeah. Let's jump, jump. Actually, kind of pointless to grab this because, yeah, I'm still half a heart. It's half, half a heart short. It's this dungeon. Basically, the entire. The entire stretch of this dungeon is do not lose the shooting star. So that was good. That room, sometimes you have two enemies, sometimes you have three. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I ought to put that out there. Get everybody to make their own. Star Tropics enemy tier list, based on how terrifying different enemies are. Now, Eyeball definitely belongs close to the top. Especially without the shooting star. There are two extra hearts hidden in this room, but it doesn't really help much at this point. It's just... Okay. Just get out of the dungeon. Get out of Chapter 3. Go to the correct place where there's a hole in the wall. Anytime there's a, something involving a lot of water, you know, it's a good time to do some hydration yourself when you're working on this game. You're fantastic! <laughs> Actually, suddenly, fantastic made me think of fantastic, which nobody would understand. I got some scans of something that I need to share. It's basically I came across this bootleg, like Chinese bootleg DVD box set of um, Big Bang Theory. And some of the stuff on this box was just ridiculous. Don't want to spoil too much on that. I probably just have to look for the JPEGs and toss them up on the Discord. Shall be inside of a whale. See, even the island is shaped like a giant fish. Even flags. Not actually doing too terribly. So that's one thing I realized, is I usually do my practice just with the debugging flag enabled on the game, which allows access to the dungeon select menu. So practice for me just typically involves going through and playing all the dungeons in a row. <laughs> I haven't really... Um, put that much time into my overworld practice. 
that most of the time the only overworld practice that I get is during actual runs. It's basically the thing though, is with all the movement being buffered on this and you're already hold holding down the next direction before you actually get to the tile where you need that movement to take place. So a lot of these individual segments, it's quite possible that I have had um, frame-perfect inputs. Well, not the inputs themselves aren't frame-perfect, but if you hold down the inputs and buffer them properly, all of the motion is frame-perfect because it picks up the buffered input immediately as soon as it's able to do so. So the only particular sticking spots on this is when you're in towns, since you have to deal with the NPCs. A little bit of RNG going on to determine where they will do their random walks to. Another thing that's kind of weird is when you're in the submarine and you've got those little arches, like archways that you drive, well drive, whatever, we're just going to call it drive. You drive under them. <laughs> So if you press the A button at just the right time, you'll actually go under the archway faster than if you just hold down the D-pad. But if you press the A button at the wrong time, it actually increases the delay that it takes for you to get out from under that. So it's kind of... gotta be careful with it. And it doesn't seem like that's one of the things that actually is buffered in the same way that everything else is. of Chapter 4, successfully taken down the dreaded three-digit number. <laughs> Yo, B-Boy, thank you for... Thank you for a spin. And speaking of which, yeah, we had a very special... special suggested game from B-Boy, so we'll see how your availability stands when we get to the end of this run here. See whether or not we go ahead and get that taken care of. Oh, wrong place. So that was the wrong place to do that under the invisible archway. So I had to suffer the extra delay. I don't have any don't have any lyrics for that song yet. It's kind of interesting. That song is introduced in Chapter 3. Yeah, initially with Miracola. So I think most places, if they're doing a soundtrack or whatever, they refer to that as the Miracola theme, but it basically takes over as the town theme once it's introduced. Maybe it was intended to play in Coral Cola as well. But they decided that they wanted the overworld theme to play for a little bit longer. So that's why they didn't play it yet at that point. Not my Papa Dummy, our island father! <laughs> kind of fun situation still here. So you have an NPC that claims to be the second oldest in all the islands. And that joke never ends up um, paying off because of the speedrun. You don't visit any of the NPCs in Chapter 6, basically. You gotta get through the overworld as quick as possible so you can talk to Uncle and successfully say no to Uncle when he asks you whether or not you want him to repeat the story. You don't know when you can be fully here two hours, maybe? No joke. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we got, um... What do we have left on this one? I'm gonna say we got about 40 hours left on this. I could pop in, um, DuckTales. Get some... 
DuckTales speedy go fast for a little while. <laughs> Actually, I just tried out uh, Pokemon Unite for the first time um, a few days ago. So I'd like not bothered to download it until now. Actually, I'm not sure what led to me downloading it anyway. I think I needed more... Uh, I needed more platinum points because all those stupid little uh, pictures that you can use for like making your um, profile pic on the Switch. So I'm kind of wanting to collect all of those, but I did not have enough platinum points. And there weren't any new... Uh, weren't any new um, weekly challenges. And I was like, crap, I don't have enough points to get all this stuff before that runs out. So I clicked on their link that says other ways to get points. And they have a whole bunch of stuff too. Like, Nintendo, every time they put out a new game, they have this advertisement page that tells you about the game. And it looks like what they've been doing is they've been hiding little clickable things in the um, pages. So if you click on them, it gives you additional platinum points. Let's see, so... Now I'm trying to think of an example. One of them was for um, uh, Switch Sports. They wanted you to go just go through and look at every single sport that's included in the game. And then once you do that, you get the points for that. And now here we are in the Indiana Jones dungeon. Because you got poison darts. Well, actually I guess just darts. They don't really poison you. Like if you took a hit from the dart, the dart and your health continued to drain for a bit afterwards, then that would definitely be a poison dart. Yeah. Dart traps, things that collapse from under you. Actually, this right here, now that I think about it, I remember that from the Indiana Jones stunt show uh, at Disney Hollywood Studios, formerly uh, uh, Disney MGM Studios, back in the day. We'd have the um, stunt actor playing Indy um, running and jumping around, and then the spiky poles pop up out of the ground. I think they tell you in the show itself, those are actually triggered by the performer who's playing Indy. So he'll run around in his choreographed pattern, and then he steps on the pressure pads in the ground in order to trigger the spikes coming up. So none of the spikes pop up um, without him being surprised about it. And I think the tips of those are made out of, like, foam or something, too, so... Even if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, he never has to worry about it injuring him. This is neat stuff, though. Yeah, so Universal Studios and, um... Disney's Studios Parks, back in the day, Behind the scenes of like movie production used to be a very big part of what the parks were about. So it's been gradually phased out over the years. See, like the tram tour, the way it was at um, Disney MGM Studios back when it first opened was kind of amazing. It was like a two hour long thing. But it just got cut down and down and down and down until now it's not left. They've shut it all down. Yo, Axio. Thank you for a happy two-year thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think this is the correct strat there. I'm not sure if that saved any time, but I think that was what you do, is you smack the first one, and then just walk straight through it. Yeah, I'm just starting out with some of this game. And then we got something kind of Frog Fractions related <laughs> we'll be diving into later on. And also depending on when B-Boy Bebop 
it's fully available. We got a special request from that direction as well. It's already had that fully downloaded on the computer and ready to go for a while now. also started to notice today that if like the whiz robes or the zombie pirate ghost whiz robes drop like a heart or a star it actually seems to delay the next one being spawned so that's interesting time for 07 Still keeping an eye on Sots occasionally, and I see that he's progressed to the Purple Palace now. Not to be confused with Purple Place, which is a children's game included with Windows Vista. But there's probably a lot of kids out there that called it Purple instead of Purple. It's actually kind of awkward to say. Purple is a lot easier to say than purple. Hmm. Although if you think about it, purple is kind of similar to like Kerbal Space Program. Huh. Actually Kerbal feels easier to say than purple. Weird. Wonder if we've had many people ever put some time into studying the science of tongue twisters. Well, in this case, it's not so much the tongue as it is the lips. Hmm. So what would you call that, then? Tongue twister has got that nice alliteration to it. It's be like lip laminators. <laughs> I don't know. And sometimes it can feel like your lips are getting laminated if it's tricky enough. Yep. <laughs> Where this overworld was big and scary the first time I ever saw it. I may have finally deleted the file. For a long time I had a cheat sheet for chapter 6 that I drew on it with the yellow highlighter in paint. Give myself a Star Tropics adventure line to follow in order to make it through the overworld. Yep. So that right there would be the shortest dungeon in the game if it actually counted as a dungeon. Everyone basically agrees that it doesn't count as a dungeon unless it does well, you've done it, and saves your game at the end. Pass the snake room, snake room. It's kind of funny though how you have that snake room, and you also have the snake room back in chapter 3, that you also just run straight through. sad to be so close and yet so far away. When it comes to how many parts you need or have your more powerful attack. Let's see if 
right, so I need to have some drinky times as soon as I land on this. Oops, not yet. There we go. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Still trying to figure out the uh, fastest strat for that room as well. See what everybody else does, and just kind of. At first glance, it all makes sense, but the actual execution is where it falls apart. Hmm. Got to slow that first. Come on, get down here. What are you doing? What? Okay, this is the worst her boss. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I don't even understand why it should be so difficult. It's like basically every single enemy, when you're one tile away, should always have the exact same rhythm on the B button in order to get the fastest um, yo yo possible. Actually, one thing I was becoming slightly suspicious of lately, just from looking at the screen and seeing what like the yo yo and everything looks like. This room too, it's ever so slightly faster if you can't actually kill a couple of the... A couple of the things with your regular attack first, because it takes extra frames. Or you do the hi and go around and take everything down. in the way. There you go. There you go. Hmm. There we go. And it's show time. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Two cycle from Joe. So there's a few sections. Oh, you've done it. few sections in the game that I would like to see better explanations of specific things. Mainly one cycles on different bosses. So I've seen that one cycle Joe is possible. But I don't know what else is required to get that besides mastering the two baseballs per jump. Which I am nowhere close to having... Um, Let's see, if we just follow it back a couple steps. Master, no, I haven't even um, apprenticed that yet, I don't think. It's like I can pull it off occasionally. Yeah, it's all timing. Because with just the right timing, you can get first baseball kind of on the way up-ish, and then the second baseball on the way down. see those double hearts, and you're like, oh, I want that. It's bait. Oh, the bait. Okay, slight delay. Get that 
Oh yes, and the next one with the fuzzies and everything. Okay, not not terrible. <laughs> that room I'm slightly improving at it finally. Just don't touch the fuzzy. Because the fuzzies are totally bubbles from Zelda 1. It'll take away your attack ability for way too much time. Parts in there too, but don't really have time to take any of them. Okay. Whip flop, whip flop, whip flop. Okay. Oh uh, yes, Star Trek is dead. <laughs> What's going on? Credit. GG on. Joining us in affiliate land. Uh oh. Get him. Yep. See, so that's definitely what I need to master. Because the asterisk strat is the way to go. <laughs> Which is still, still slightly nerve-wracking. Oh my goodness! Okay, drink, drink your juice. Okay, <laughs> salvage that, but that's why that room is terrifying. Oh yeah, feeling great. How's it going? Well, today the air conditioner for the upstairs portion of the house is not cooperating. So I got a window unit set up in the window and it's just managing to keep things under control, but not quite. It's like it's 82 degrees upstairs right now. So the good news is, is that even with the, so let's see, there's stuff making noise there, over there, actually double over there, because there's the window unit and there's a fan to blow the cool air the rest of the way in because the window is kind of out in this little, um, I don't know, whatever you would call it. I know it used to be whenever we'd see houses with the little sticky outfits with the window on it, we used to call those the dog houses. I don't know why. After the sun goes down, it should cool down and everything will be under control. Hi, Uncle Steve, Doctor. Hmm. Now we're kind of joking about it. A game that shows you what the inside of the spaceship looks like from Uncle Steve's perspective would be interesting. Because I know I've said time and time again that a lot of the visuals in this game and various things, I think, are just seeing things from Mike's perspective. Oops. Slightly late on that, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's see, plus... We have to do all the fancy things. Yeah, doing this without any space drugs, especially with no warm-up first. Spicy. No space drugs today. Let's get this alien at the corner here. They just have to be ready to... Okay, yeah. I just pause slightly, and I can tell if he's going to jump back over or not. To do that to decide. 
whether or not I'm gonna clobber him. Okay, so, um... Nope. Now, immediately as soon as you use, lose the shooting star, it's all over. Gotta try it again. So I don't know what the consistent strat is for that room, because no matter how many times I go through it, it all feels reactive still. Okay, yeah, see, sometimes that guy shoots a second time, other times he doesn't. Turn, do not turn. Get off my buddy! Ah. Alright, let's go get the space drugs. <laughs> like, the space drugs would be nice, but... Game says no. Yeah, it's a problem with the aliens. I don't... I don't have an intuitive understanding of their behavior. Slip around the side right there. That was usually what my basic. Okay, there. See that time? That time that I did something different, so we just make a run for it. Pew pew pew. Okay, they both down. Got shot, that's fine. Okay, okay, game. Be a butt. Even when I got the. Okay, that's, that's, that's doable. It's still doable. No, 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 Yes, just go back. No, nope, not like that. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, amazing. Actual banana lady. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm going to try to do it without the space drugs again. Oh, vacation on Monday. Nice. Yeah, that's always good to hear. Yeah. I'm basically back to fast forwards. Huh. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that on the real NES. You also can't do that anyway if you have the timer running. Cube. Oh. That guy. I don't know the backup strat for. Okay, game just says no. Yo, what's going on, Squid? Whoop! Squid just subscribed. I'm not sure. Does 17 months sound about right? Man, these numbers are these numbers are getting wild. Yeah, thank you for the 17 months. Woo. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually like not really prepared for <laughs> this game today. I'm just like, yeah, let's. We're just gonna go on like a world tour of all the things that have made up the stream. That includes this. Yeah, we're not going to have any um, Frog Fractions directly today, though, but we got something that's Frog Fractions adjacent. Space drugs! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the space drugs this time. Because we at least need to finish the game. That is definitely a requirement for today. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, see. Okay, get out. No, no, no. Okay. Not double stacking the bikers this time, so that's a plus. But I'm not sure which actually has less reaction time. The room with the bikers in it, 
for the reactor. No, 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 don't. Most of these shot patterns, it feels like it should be possible to jump over the top of them, but it doesn't look quite great. <laughs> Yo, no, what's going on? Hey! Oh, there we go. Well, you've done it. <laughs> Way behind, but that's fine. We're just going on a world tour of all the things that made up the stream today. How's the Donkey Kongs going today, Naomi? That's all that was going on. Had you open in the background. Didn't really understand what I was seeing all that much, because I have a Donkey Kong 64 cart, but I've never really played it before. But yeah, what's going on in Noel as well? God said to John, come forth and receive eternal life. But John came in fifth and won a toaster. <laughs> Yeah, I actually wonder what the prizes are for um, first, second, and third. And we got... Oh, hey, thank you for... Oh, I'm invisible right now. I can't see that. Thank you for the follow. I know it's follow sounds. So I got iMotif. So how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for bringing in your raid. Oh, yeah, but in just a few hours, it's going to be a day two years ago when I had the first official stream. This actually turns out I apparently streamed Super Mario World for about 15 minutes back in 2015, but I don't really count that, so... Um, 8 4 is what I call the official stream birthday, and that's what we're going to go with. Okay. Celebrating affiliate Franco. Best eight. Eight. Yeah. Celebrating affiliate rank. Okay, it's gonna do a three or four hour stream. Nice. Yeah, that'll be fun. And Naomi completely beat Creepy Castle in that one stream, so you're really glad you didn't have to go back. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll find out I'll find out just how bad it is for myself whenever I get around to playing through that game. Uh, probably would not want to 100% it, though. I've heard bad things. Real bad things about 100%ing that game. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I have the player's guide for that one in my collection. Uh-oh. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go. First thing is the... Worst thing is the Beaver Bother bonus barrel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's uh, that's at least as difficult to say as what it sounds like it is to play. Just the... <laughs> Pull off the... Nope, that was not the right timing on that, but that's fine. That's fine. We got the orange gun, we just need to go pew pew, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. And then just cheese the game. So there we go. <laughs> you basically just um, stand on top of the boss and it makes the boss decide life is no longer worth living. And it jumps off into the pit. Beaver bother bonus barrel moment. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a you got a um, bit of a lack of fouls in the second half there, but I guess match. <laughs> this is a pretty good uh, way of pronouncing the name. <laughs> We got something to something to do here in just a couple minutes too. But I heard my clunk noise from the redemption. 
I guess just Mads. Mads is an easier, easier pronounce than <laughs> severe lack of bowels, huh? Something, something winding hallways, yeah. So the original is overly long maze like hallways. Overly long maze like hallways. <laughs> and I like my take on it, which is um, second verse is um, hallways that are long and maze like. But I also relatively recently invented twisty, turny space drugs hallways. Because we got the new theory that this is actually just a straight line, and Mike is just so high on space drugs right now that it looks like a incredibly complicated maze. I've heard of Legend of Zelda Stone Tablets. You tried it recently, and it's pretty weird. So that was the... Um, um, that was the Link to the Past pseudo sequel for the um, satellite system they had. The BS system for the uh, Super Famicom. It's apparently even stranger if you actually got to play it back in the day. Because it would simultaneously tune in to the live satellite broadcast. And it had like voice actors talking at the same time. Oh yeah. Prepare your prepare your bananas. Because oh no, surprise, it's Zoda. Ha 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 ha. Etc. etc. Your head is aching, you jam bananas in your ears. Get out of my mind, alien scum! <laughs> Yeah, so right here we have one of the few understood boss manipulations. Basic gist of it is you hold down. Because every time this appears, you either get the head or you get a hand. And you don't want the hand, you just want the head. So if you hold down on the D-pad, it's more likely that the head will appear instead of the hand. Yo, Fat Lee, what's going on? Yep, yep. We got countdown to what I decided is the official stream birthday. So 7.22 p.m. right now, but when it strikes midnight, that's going to be it. It's going to be all 8-4. R.I.P. TTS. Yeah, yeah, we have free-for-all TTS on shitpost Saturdays. But on other streams, it's kind of limited to... Actually, what do I have it set to? Do I have it set to bits? I, mean, I think having it on bits is probably something I needed to enable. Mods have free access to the exclamation point TTS command. Okay, switch to the right thing. Uh-oh. Well, we've got a two-cycle reactor forced on us at the very least. Okay. Onward to Zoda. TTS on Saturday, yeah. <sighs> Time to effing F up Zoda. <laughs> Time to effing F up Zoda. Special lyrics only relevant for this final hallway here. Yeah. Uh oh. See, here's the part that I don't know how to deal with. Get back here. We haven't had a single spaghetti, so we're probably going to get the glitch credits here. As long as he doesn't murder me. That's possible too. Come on, Soda. You know you want this. Put you out of the misery of having belly button bullets. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and there's the blitz credits. Oh. <laughs> Zoda did nothing wrong. Yeah, he, he came to Earth to bring the gift of space drugs. But Mike said no. Possibly because Mike wanted all the space drugs for himself. He's kind of a junkie now. 
<laughs> you thought you were the wrong <laughs> Yeah, thank you for GG. And hello, GG. Yeah, then we'll go to log, et cetera. Yeah. Hmm. You know, this is a special occasion. We can have... We can have the magic for a while if we want to. Ta-da! We have magic. Maybe we'll go back and forth. <laughs> Glob, glob, gob, uh, gallop. TTS has an easier time pronouncing that than I do. <laughs> see. Um, so we need something else now for maybe putting ducktails for a while. Or actually, Hattress. Yes, we have Hattress. Back some hats. Hot champ. Jimoj, Pog Champ, awesome. Good old, good old Hattress. Oh, and we have Cursed. Cursed stream is Cursed. Oh, yeah, some plus we have. What do we have here? We had. Oh, we got game instructions out of Switch? Sure. Um, let's see. Got anything you want to see? Because those instructions have old 8 bit games. Oh, and we have the game, too. Okay. Alright. Too free. Oh, what's the, um, and we have the, let's, we haven't used that in a long time. Spoopy. We're up to 11 Spoopy 13 me now. <laughs> Party hat. Party hat, nice. Alright, let's get the bean out of the way. The bean. The... Party popper. Party popper, oh, wow. nice. What is this? This is either, it's like, it's like yellow and white-ish. It spells doom either way. It's, it's got the possibility of being rotten egg or moldy cheese. I have a hard time telling those apart. Party poo poo. <laughs> what do we got here? Hmm. Hmm. No, nope, that's the egg. That's the rotten egg. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Mark off that. Mark off that Why bean. She says. she says, oh yeah. I saw the uh actually I think earlier today I watched um the latest got oh you want some you want some butter chew, huh? Well hello everybody. It's your good friend Butter Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a song. Cool. Butter time. Butter, yeah. Butter, 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 butter. Butter, 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 butter. Almost kind of wish this could do... This could do more things than just sit there with the mouth, but does it really need anything more than that? I don't know. Who knows? I'm satisfied with it, I suppose. Actually, in this folder, I have another alternate butter picture that I was thinking we could do something with as well. This is beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, where do I put that? And also, thank you. Yeah. This is one of those things that was discovered by accident. I was actually looking for a regular picture of Pikachu that I could do the old school um, flappy head puppets with. And when searching for Pikachu on Google Images, Butter Pikachu came up. And we've been stuck with it ever since. There we go. Yeah, so here's the alternate. Can I drag and drop, please? Drag and drop. Where, where is it? Uh-oh. Uh, no, here it is. Left click, drag and drop. So here's the, here's the other Butter Pikachu, which kind of, kind of doesn't live up to the original, but it's kind of, it might be nice to have something a little bit different every now and then. In the meantime, I have removed Star Tropics and inserted Catris. Be gone. Second Butter Pikachu. The 
first Butter Pikachu banishes the second Butter Pikachu out of the way. Okay, so we are all done with splits. But to close that. And then just oh ah. There we go. Yep. A single yep. butter Pikachu wasn't cursed enough. They had to make two. <laughs> yeah. There's probably quite a few. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we got lots and lots of there's probably lots of Butter Pikachus, because I'd imagine they'd have to make a new one every once in a while. And these two are the only ones that anybody bothered to photograph. Who knows? It's quite the... There's the thing here, life's but there we go. There. See, I got... I just have an extra um, top. And then life split just goes over the top at the top part of the chat box. Yeah, it's time to stack some pants. Well, some good music plays. Hmm, okay. See, it always starts out so nice. And then the game starts giving you the crowns. Those are some absolutely horrible... horrible hats to try to stack. Well, I can't make it over the edge. Okay. Oh, which is taller. No, I'll just start a second top hat stack, unless this can... Oh, okay. Not quite hyper-tapping, but the similar spirit. Let's get you out of the way. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uw matic ran out of time. Ah, oh, but that's what makes it fun. Uh-oh. Thought I hit A button there, but apparently not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, again. This drops. They're not just for Tetris 99. Oh yeah, and actually we need to we need to update this number. Hattress. There we go. Give the poor Hattress category some love. Hardly ever um, gets used nowadays, I imagine. I haven't looked lately to see how difficult to find this card actually is. There's lots of versions of Hattress. It's also available on Game Boy. Uh, there's an arcade version. I was kind of surprised to see that. Yeah, some of the hats are actually different from version to ver. Okay, themes. No, okay. Yeah, some of the hats are different. But I wonder if their dimensions are still the same. Because the dimensions and stackability of the individual hats. Hmm. I'll have to, have to Google, because that name doesn't sound familiar. And, uh, okay, I guess not. Oh, cash in? No. Don't want to cash in. Those power-ups are very important. Okay, we got a new hat. Which ones do I have? Okay, let's... Uh-oh. I think we should still be fine. Yeah, because I save all of those power-ups. Uh, this, this is a bit sick. I'll do this for now. It's kind of two important uses for power-ups. Number one is if a pair of hats are... Ah, oh, crap. A pair of hats are falling that you don't know what to do with. You can use that to get them off the screen. And then, of course, you have the actual uses of them, which is whatever the abilities do. So I'm pretty sure all three of the abilities that I have right now, the only things they'll do for me is allow me to swap out... Yeah, this is the one that lets you swap two stacks. And the other one actually lets you just grab hats and pull them out from the bottom completely. I don't like this. See, this is this tall stack is in the wrong place. I'm gonna use one of these. Do that. Okay. Let's put you over here. Perfect. Oh. 
and entirely unnecessary. Oh well. <laughs> it's kind of difficult with some of these hats to tell how to all they're stacked up, because once they nest together, you only get like a few pixels. Make a little, little bit of garbage. Okay. So you see, the top hats are very tall, but they nest extremely well, adding only like a few pixels for each additional one. As long as you're nesting them properly, when you switch back and forth between different hat types, it grows taller much more rapidly. Sadness. Okay. I'll... Actually, I didn't really want to do that either. Um. Okay. Use the ability again. So please do this time. Okay, that works. Um... Double hot. Double top hat. Can't get that one over the hump there, though. Okay. Actually, no thank you. It's actually specific kinds of hats that contribute to the different... Um, the different power-ups. So, like, the more complicated hats end up giving you points towards the better kind of power up, which is where Alexei comes down, slides down the pole, and then you can remove hats from the bottom of the stack. So if you make a junk pile where it's constantly changing... So, yeah. So number four right there, that actually would be a prime candidate for using that ability on whenever I get it. I make a highlight of my 39-minute-long or deal with being or bother, which I am also uploading to YouTube. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I'll see that then when it pops up in my subscriptions feed. Yeah, so one thing that happens is like my YouTube subscriptions tab really falls behind. Actually, being um, being subscribed to Siva Gunner definitely does not help much. Okay. Oh, I done some work on the. Um, channel is scary lol. Yeah, yeah. I saw the I saw the video on um, is it making uh, toast. <laughs> Pretty informative, though. But then I just kind of remembered, though, you talking about um, how the grilled cheese, or if you try that, ends up going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I've been working on the um, E.T. version of the text-to-speech. So it's interesting, because what it needs to do is it has to... Well, I haven't I haven't searched for any other. Um, actually, I don't think I've John ever Madden. seen John Madden football. I don't think I've ever seen another toast video. There is this guy. His name is Boy Pipo. Are you sure? I heard it was Boy 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 Computers are never wrong, so until the computer says otherwise, that is your official name. Oh, uh, here comes the wizard hats. <laughs> yeah, so the idea for the um, ET text to speech is that it converts into phonemes. And then specific phonemes, it repeats them. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it, it converts the message to phonemes, and then specific phonemes get repeated automatically. So, like, if you type in ET phone home, it extends all the vowels to become ET phone home phonemes. Yep. Yeah, that's the individual components. If you'd like to see some fresh phonemes for yourself, you can use the exclamation point PH command followed by a message, and then it will convert them it will convert them into phonemes. So that's useful if you're wanting to do advanced shenanigans with text-to-speech. Sometimes you need the need the phonemes in order to be able to get it to generate weird stuff. Let's see, let's put that there. Oh, and I'm completely full on my abilities. Nice. Hmm, just for that, this is fine. Up there, up there. Yeah, so I can regular Tetris. A Tetris is clearing out four lines in a single go by dropping the eyepiece. In this game, a Hatris is that right there. <laughs> Don't ask Mark. Mark deserves to be questioned. Question him every day. Yeah, what are you up to, Mark? Okay, we got got the Lexi action coming in here, so let's clean up. Okay, that's good. No, thank you. Trick to making it to the end is to keep all your abilities and use them when you need them. Now we're on the um, Dracula stage. It's a little model heads at the bottom have been replaced. Uh, okay. Sometimes you just have to take a bad stack. <laughs> Definitely has a lot in common with Tetris, as far as that is concerned, where sometimes you have to cover something up. Cover it up so you can clean it up later. to make judgments on this sometimes. So we can see that the pointy tip of the wizard hat is taller than the like cowboy hat. So drop that first. Ooh, and this is nasty. Um, yes, yeah, right there. That's a good place for that. Which is to say it's not, but not worth using a power-up to burn it. Actually, I get really curious about the algorithm that's used for shuffling the hats in this. Does this game have a high skill cap? Hmm. Well, you know what? I've never tried turning it up to higher difficulty levels. Getting started, you need to recognize enough of good opportunities. Okay, I don't really like... Okay, I'm going to use that just because the second wizard hat is not a good prospect at this point in time. So there is a speedrun leaderboard for this. And basically, the objective is just to start on 0-0. Zero, zero. When you get to... Oh, okay. When you get to, like, shop 9 and complete that, then that's when you stop your timer. I feel like I would still need a significant amount of practice before I'd be able to make any attempts on that. Could be fun though, there's not very many people on the leaderboard for this at all. Seven pack of hats. Seven pack of hats. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, this could be old enough that that concept might not be there yet. Sometimes it feels as though, like, if you keep 
if you think about this enough steps in advance, it usually gives you everything you need to actually clear stuff. So just horribly shuffling these to the point that everything is a lost cause. But I don't know. I don't know if we so have... This game is endless until you die. Um, yeah, I mean, it does work in that aspect. So it has like a, has like a story scene, sort of, that plays, but then it just starts right back up again. And if we keep going far enough, we should hopefully see that. Hmm. Keep track of where I keep my garbage piles here. Okay, see, this is good. You get a double stack of something, and you just put it on top. Like that. This is not good, though. We're gonna be covering stuff up. Well, let's see that. Maybe... No, that's kind of bad. Um... Alright, go ahead and eat some more garbage here. And this one, yeah. Okay. Oh, and then dumb polar, that's that's not great. Okay. Uh this one's taller. Oh, bad place for the wizard had to be. This is okay, though. Yeah, don't do that. Don't get stack blindness. We're like, oh, wait a minute. You see, you see it was kind of obvious what to do, but I, I was focusing on this other one. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, since this is the one that's being used, go ahead and swap these. Actually, that's another thing that you should use to your advantage when possible as well. Because while time is stopped, so you can use the ability... Just, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hat YOLO. Yep, that was, that was a mistake, alright. Okay, um... I don't even have any of these anywhere near here. Okay, new junk pile. <sighs> these are... Is that five? That is not five. I see. Yeah, it's just the tip of the wrong type of hat there. Yeah, keep, keep up stacking the junk hat pile. I don't even have any of those visible. Drop it. <laughs> nope. Okay. As long as you're still clearing stacks, it's not too terrible. Yeah. It's coming out. Double. Oh, nasty. Nope, definitely not. I'm gonna need to, like, burn a bunch of these. Shop 6, only a few more to go now. Um... Yeah, this doesn't help anywhere on the board. Actually, yeah, just... Just use that just to get rid of the hats and not actually do anything. Okay, got it. <laughs> Check that. Up, oh, and now the crown has arrived. So the crown is absolutely terrible. Because it always takes up a lot of space, even when nesting with itself. Okay. Oh, yeah, I th I'm not sure if I finished that sentence earlier. So in this game, a hatress is when you clear two sets of five. So ten hats removed from a single um, pair of hats being dropped. Mm. Oh, man. Ah. Let's do this. 
Okay, start a new stack of wizard hats. Or not. <laughs> Super double stacks. Okay, well that's just garbage, so let's see here. Um, get rid of these where it's just... Uh oh, I did an extra one. Those are on opposite sides of where I would really want, ideally want them to be. I think I would rather... Okay, yeah, we'll just do that. And then put... Let's see... Okay. This is highly specific to the next piece that's about to come down. I'm just going to swap that. Just because this will be stacked properly like that. Oh, and then this is terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Start a new stack of top hats. <laughs> Keep putting this in the jump pile. Oh no, it's down. Okay. Dedicated jump pile in um, slot three right now. for that. Let's do that for now. Ah, uh, they're split. They're split. I don't want to do it. I don't want to get rid of that. Quite what I was aiming for there. It's over here, so this next stack has a place to go. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I forgot. <laughs> I suddenly forgot which button. So the B, B button activates your ability. Junk pile. Really, nothing good I could do with that one. Actually, okay. This one matches. Those weren't in the way. Be a lot, sir. Clear that one out first. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll just, just use it to get rid of what we have on top. Good. Oh, now we're on the um, Abraham Lincoln stage. Okay, good. has suddenly formed. Um, ooh, yeah, just gotta get rid of that. It's just terrible. Oh, 
Actually, I kind of... Yeah. Didn't really plan that one out that well. So what I should have done was taken one off of the stack there. So that way... I could move the... Oh. I don't think I'll actually make it to the end this time. The game becomes suddenly very generous with the hats that it drops. I can clear some more of this out. Okay, another ability. So it's giving me single pairs that match up nicely with stuff that I already have on the screen. But then the next thing that it does is... gives me something that just breaks the whole thing horribly. Get the taller one. No. <laughs> Cut that at the last second, almost dropped it backwards. Oh. Next up is crown. Yeah, better, better do this anyway. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. That stack is closer to being done. Better. Now what would be nice is if you could actually choose to split it any time. Yo, possum. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Credit. Bopping. Yes, yes. Bopping music. I get confused here. Maybe that's why I don't normally have it turned on. Okay. Uh, eat some of this, but what to eat? Well. Well, yeah. Eat. Eat. I gotta remind myself, it's not like other people's where it says, name said such and such. Mine doesn't do it that way. Okay. That out. I don't want that there. I really don't want that there. We'll do this. Okay, good, good. Wizard has stacks. Not cash in. Alright, shop eight. Don't have any crown stacks right now. Mm, wish that was in a better place. So you're getting close to the end, the music gets exciting. do not want this tell it away. Okay, I can just drop this next one, no problem. Oh boy. Um Ooh, nasty. Um oh. I don't even 
have any of these to... Okay, let's do it. Let me move it off. It's prefer to put it there. Oh, which is taller, which is taller. Okay. Stuff like that is an instance where I seriously wish you could actually buffer your input on that. It's like pull down the direction. Let's just get. Gonna work for a bit, possum a teammate. Alright, have fun with uh, have fun with the teenage mutant ninja turtles. And I'm just just gonna figure out where I put all this stuff. Um, actually, this one's terrible too. Let's just get that cleanup, that cleanup action going on. Again with the crowns. Oh, okay. Wish that was on the other side there. Now this is a game that would benefit from letting you see additional, uh, like instead of just the one next, you could have like two next, basically. My favorite part of that song is the little uh, high-pitched, uh, kind of triangle-inspired instrument. Okay, I've got a place for that. Don't have... Uh, I'd rather clear that out if I can. Oh! 7-10 split. <laughs> it's totally functionally equivalent. Um, Alright. I guess I'll just nuke a few more. It's probably best use of Alexi's ability. Get yourself a whole bunch of places in the bottom where you only have one type of hat stacked up. And go through and clean them all up. Oh, see, if I'd known this was coming in advance, I could have had that clear to where that could wipe it out. Uh, yeah, put it on the crown. Double bowler, not useful. Not useful in the slightest. Um... coming in. Okay. That, that. That. The crown's already over here. Okay. That's up. That first and got it. Rather cover. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, making a mess again. So you, you, yeah, and then it's, that old stack is just an abomination. Oh, I get one more. Okay, looks slightly better. Not a whole lot, but an improvement anyway. Actually, I don't see anything useful I can do with that. So. Just use it to get rid of the garbage that we had just then. Beep oh, boop here we go. Rage. Beep boop. Yo. 
What's going on? Thank you, Sots, for the raid, and thank you, Base King, for the happy stream for the Whoop! HTH is subscribed. I'm not sure if 11 months sound right. Wow. No, thank you for 11 months. Hmm. I guess it makes sense that we would have numbers like 11 months coming in here, huh? Since we are uh, on the dawn of the day of 8 4 when. <laughs> <laughs> when it officially, unofficially becomes two years. So yeah, I, I've kind of mentioned this. I did find um, up oh, and base hat. camp, base camp as well. Party hat. I have, I have a party-ish hat. Let me find that. Thank you. Oh, all about the Washingtons, baby. Goodness, everybody wants the train to happen, huh? Well, I got a party hat. Let me get the party hat down. Not quite the right kind of party hat, but a party hat nonetheless. So, I could wear this for a little while, but it's still kind of hot ish in here. At least it's down to 81 now. Oh boy. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. And we need our lack attack now, too, don't we? Yeah, perfect timing, though, because we just won Hattrick's again. This opportunity to change the samples on all these. There we go. We are all set up and good to go on the out. I needed to change the um, buffer links on that stuff earlier. Oh yeah, and actually while we're on the subject to Onyx. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. What's going on? Um, the thing that you have to watch out for though is that we had a you butter believe it earlier. You like the hat? <laughs> get the people down. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but speaking of that, we actually had a "You Butter Believe It" on here from earlier, so that means that it's time for the surprise um, butter Pikachu jump scare, which I, I know I kind of led up into that a little bit, and it's hardly very jump scary. It's not like it was a surprise or anything, but there you go. There's the. There's the other half of the You Butter Believe It from earlier, so I can mark that off as complete. Yeah, we also actually have a pending um, Pinnacle game instructions as well. Um, pending Pinnacle game instructions. Um, then I asked Squid which game, um, which game we wanted to see the instructions for, but I didn't um, hear anything back, so... Um, I'll let Squid have the points, and I'll just pick, um, I'll pick out a game to show. Well, we have this nice hat-tacular music taking place. Double click on the, oh, and just like that, Onyx goes away again. Let's see. Firefox and Firefox, no, where's the, there it's the well, there's the pinnacle that's going to show after I go to the full page instructions, so let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I showed the instructions for Star Tropics or not. Actually, is Zoda in here? Oh, Zoda's Revenge is in here. Okay, let's look at that. Full page instructions. Alright, Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. The objective of this game is to travel through time to solve an alien mystery. This game supports one player. Star Tropics. Start, Star Tropics or Start Tropics? <laughs> yeah, after foiling the plans of the evil alien Zoda in Star Tropics 1, Mike Jones is ready for some more adventuring. His uncle Steve, he, um, 
that sometimes the spacing is weird in this. I don't know if it's the actual typo or if it's just the way it renders. His Uncle Steve is trying to solve the inscription he found on the side of an escape pod, and Mike has plans on helping him out. His adventure will take him to Cleopatra, Leonardo da Vinci, and God only knows what other people of the past. Let the story begin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you like this game, be sure to check out these games, too. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Yeah. To connect the game, make sure the power switch is off. Insert your game cartridge. Turn power switch on. Press start to view options, screen, or main menu. Maybe. And again, with the your control pad has five buttons. Whoop. Hey. HTH so generous. Health myself got subbed. Well, oh, thank you for the generosity. Huzzah! D-pad moves Mike. Yeah, see, the pinnacle instructions, they always refer to it as the D-pad. Um, but everybody else, they call it like the directional pad or the directional arrows. Um, and of course, Nintendo calls it the control, and then they have an actual picture of the plus, so it's the control plus pad. D-pad moves Mike. A. Jump, talk to people jump hyphen talk to people i mean okay b attack dash check your weapon select switch weapons start pause unpause things to know the game screen will display your weapons stars medicine heart energy and lives remaining pause the game and press left or right on the d-pad to change weapons press up or down to see your magic inventory yeah it'd be helpful for some people that can't figure out how to use the potions other weapons to look for are stones, tinks, axe, daggers, katana, slingshots, three-way shot, spike disc, and the psychic shockwave. Bobby, jump talking to people. <laughs> jump talking, yeah. Yeah, jump talking. Actually, that kind of... That's probably related to, like, jump hugging. Because you got, like, the Barney the Dinosaur game on the Sega Genesis where you, like, hide in the bushes and you wait for the kid to walk by and then you press the button and he jumps out of the bushes and, like, hugs the kid. So I feel like jump hugging. Let's see, the psychic shockwave, okay. Uh, special items to look for are the flute and dynamite. The try your luck sign will give you extra lives. Yeah, yeah, it's much more generous in the second game. In the first game it could take away a life, but by the time you get to the second game, it was only, um, only positives. Which I guess maybe change. See, at least the first game it has that downside to it, whereas the second game you're like, hey, go ahead and gamble. It always has positive outcomes. <laughs> Big hearts will increase the amount of hearts you can have. Little hearts and medicine bottles will help keep your hearts filled up. Collecting five stars will restore a small portion of your energy. Big stars will make you invincible for a short period of time. Your game will be saved on the battery-backed memory, so there will be no need for long passwords. Alright. Then the pinnacle game hints, tips, and clues. Have patience when fighting a boss. Pick up on their attack patterns, and they'll be toast in no time. Try walking through some of the walls, yeah. Write down clues that are given to help solve riddles along the way. And Mike can move and fire weapons a lot better than in the first Star Tropics. Practice with the controls to take out enemies while sustaining the least amount of damage. <laughs> it's funny that it just drops that on you. Yep, Mike can move and fire weapons a lot better than the first Star Tropics. Yeah, it's well, it's more options, but I I like having a grid. <laughs> All right, close that. So yeah, it seems like um, seems like the right time though to progress on to the game that B Boy Bebop had suggested. Let's see. Try to remember here. I have I have what was this? It was a sixteen by nine content, wasn't it? So I need to go with the other scene. So we're gonna switch this around. Fire it up. So it's over here too. There it goes. 
So people, I was very certain about making sure that I don't know anything about this game before playing it. We got a TV here, though, that actually looks like my CRT that I have sitting right beside the monitor here that the NES is hooked up to. So it's got the um, VHS slot on it. Now, obviously, the colors of the buttons and all that are different, but that's fine. And you know what? I should also get the tablet ready, too. Because while we were doing NES games, I made use of the monitor over there. But when I'm back on the main monitor, I like the tablet or the old chatsy doodle. Okay, so we have three episodes. And I love apples. Do you like apples? Um, yes. I'm allergic to apples. That's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store is? Uh, <laughs> so definitely, um... Enigma 130 much a freaky. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the store, right? <laughs> this is this is something. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, there are apples. Can you see apples? Um, five letters. Um, I don't know, apple? Good job! Now we can make apple pie. <laughs> yo, yo, Etna, what's going on? We have weird grocery store brand knockoff Dora the Explorer, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm just doing the, um, Countdown to because when it strikes midnight, that's going to be the official eight four or eight four <laughs> of the second um, year celebration of the first Twitch stream that I did, which it turns out is technically not accurate because I apparently streamed uh. Super Mario World for 15 minutes back in 2015, but I'm not going to count that, you know. So Official stream birthday is 8-4. Rip, <laughs> yeah. Let's check out episode two here. Oh, it's you. Okay. We don't have much time. Whatever you do, don't... Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lily. Today, we're going to get meat for Grandma. But is it Grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where the butcher is? Uh, right there. There it is. Let's go. Hello, meat man. <laughs> Can you tell the meat man what we need? Hmm. Meat. Meat. Right. Still CPG. <laughs> Uh. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No, like cutting the mustard and cutting the cheese, but not cutting the meat. This is it, the last um, episode. <laughs> Last one is gonna pick a Last one, yeah. What happened to 
What happened to our um, sheep buddy, huh? Oh, we have a. Uh, Knock on the door! I'm not sure I want to. Uh, what? I don't know what it wants me to type in. Um. <laughs> ha. Okay. Well then. Yeah, yeah. Now I wonder if there's any secret. Hey, what's this? <laughs> oh, want to do it again? Sure, we can do it again. Amanda the Adventurer. <laughs> you know that show that used to come on on back in the day. But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store is? Do you know where the store is? Do you know where the store is? <laughs> oh, so it just takes your options away from me if you click on the wrong things. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. And look, there are apples. Can you see apples? I'd much rather have an orange. Oh, see apple. 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 Apples. Balls. Oops. Good job. Now we can make apple pie. <laughs> I typed balls. <laughs> Put in apples instead. <laughs> All right, episode two. Oh, this is Okay, we don't have much time. Whatever you do, don't. Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lily. Today, we're going to get meat for Grandma. But isn't Grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where the butcher is? Ice cream. Can you tell us where the butcher is? <laughs> she just rewrites reality to match what she wants. There it is. Let's go. Hello, meat man. Meat man. Can you tell the meat man what we need? I just typed in meat last time, but I imagine this is what actually happened. Lamb. Can you tell the meat man what we need? Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Tell him what we need. Thank you. No, you. Oh, That's okay. Right. Oh, beef. Hmm. Does it again? Where if you don't type in the right thing, it just types it for you. And then our sheep friend was never seen again. God. <laughs> uh, that slow head turn. <laughs> She's clearly in control here. Oh, it's di wait, it's different. You're right. The treasure map said the woods. Let's go. I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? I said, aren't you excited? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, but we still don't know where the treasure is, uh... 
Buried. Our friend the GPS said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? E yeah. Why is there no triangle? We got the other three PlayStation buttons. Let's keep screwing with her. It's right there. X marks the spot. We're looking for the X, right? I still see no the X. No one uses the, <laughs> the jungle, yeah. Looks like the spot. But how are we supposed to get at it under all the dirt? Bah. <laughs> Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. <laughs> we already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for... And now, we only have the shovel. What tool should we use to dig up the treasure? It's not a, no. Hmm. A snake. A snake. 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 Snacky. Hmm. Does shovel fit in this? Snack. Snack. No, you gotta have the E's at the end, too. Snacky. Or you can just do, um, is it exclamation point snake or is it exclamation point snake emoji? Snacky. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. What else we have that would fit? Spade. No. <laughs> Shuffle. I didn't bring that. What can we use to dig up the treasure? Bite me. The the only tool we haven't the used yet is the shovel. On the head of With that said, the only tool black we would need is... Friends. Short curly beard. Root of people. Hats and confetti in the air. 100 assorted hats, assortment. Extra hats, top hats, Panama hats, and wizard hats. Ha, huh, okay. We need the piano. <laughs> the piano? Huh. Where's my. Here we go. I'm gonna copy this. Dun, 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 dun. Get our crayon up and running. Oh. Okay. It's not like it's going to take any longer for that to generate um, because of the um, length of it. Okay. Um, so obviously she's just going to rewrite reality. This game of focus. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Too many hats there. Too many hats, yeah. Shovel. The shovel. You're right. Now we can dig this up before someone. Okay, that's enough. Bah. No, I, I can't let you do this anymore. I don't care what you do to me. You, take the tape out now and destroy them. Burn them. Whatever. Just get rid of these other tapes. Do you hear me? You can't let anyone else watch these. Let anyone watch <laughs> okay, sheep, um, personal space. <laughs> and now it's Blair Witch. Where the idea of Blair Witch came from. Hmm. Hmm. Five? I don't know. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would fit. Yes. Mm. 
<laughs> you can't do it. What? Watch? Oh. Then the girl will climb out of the TV set in seven days. Hello? Yeah, hey. Um, yeah, no, I found it. Yeah, I found the place. It was just, uh... It was just off the highway. Yeah, not too far. I ain't... Um, yeah, no, they're all... Hold on, what? Was I... Was I followed? No, I... No, I don't think so. Who'd, who'd be following me? No, nobody nobody was there. It was just me. Um, yeah, no, the, the tapes are all destroyed, too. They're, they're gone. Every single one. Yeah, no no problem. Um, listen, it, it, it's getting late. I, uh, I really need to get home. Uh, I got work tomorrow. So I'll, uh, I'll call you when I get back home, okay? Okay, have a good night. I'll, uh, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Hmm. I like seeing the old, um, Polaroid box there, though. I can remember tapes. I probably have some tapes around here somewhere with that very same box on it, with, like, Polaroid and then the different colors. Of hmm. Now we're back to episode three again. But it's obviously going to be different. Or not. It's dark out. Let's go home. Home. Over here this time. Home! No. Wait the house! Okay. Knock on the door! Typing. Is there anything else, or is that it? <laughs> yeah, lots of things disappear. Feels good, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm the <laughs> I love apples. Do you like apples? Oh, that's you a good. Like that's a good fit. <laughs> Do I like apples? Ooh. I'm allergic to apples. That's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store is? Of course we do. It's right there. Do you know where the store is? That's it. Do you know where the store is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, there are apples. Can you see apples? That's mm. good. I don't care. Whatever. Hey, apple. No. Apple. Oh, Good job! Oh. Now we can make apple pie. She just rewrites reality to fit her own narrative. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know if there's any more content or if we've seen it all. Oh, <laughs> well, that's quite a thing to get an addiction to, huh? Oh. Whatever you do, don't Hi everyone! I'm Amanda. I'm Lily. Really... You say no way. You say no. But is a grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where to put your eggs? There's nothing else to click in here. Ice cream. Can you tell us where the butcher is? Ice cream. The butcher? Okay, we'll have meat ice cream. Let's go. At the butcher's shop. Hello, meat. 
typing meat for you again. It's that slow chop action one more time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chop it. Chop that meat. This tape is back again. You're right. The treasure map said the woods. Let's go. I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? I said, aren't you excited? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, but we still don't know where the treasure is. Uh. Buried. Our friend the GPS said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? I still see the X. There it is. Treasure awaits. Looks like the spot. How are we supposed to get at it under oh. all the dirt? Bah. Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope to... And now we only have the shovel. Yeah. What tool should we use? That's to what dig happens when somebody spins the points on it. Let's get back to. Oh, okay. Now let's move back to normal here too. Wait. Uh oh. Yeah, this game is very difficult to click back into if you're tabbed out because the cursor doesn't show up. Shovel. The shovel. You're right. Now we can dig this up before someone... Okay, that's enough. Bah. No, I, I can't let you do this anymore. I don't care what you do to me. You, take the tape out now and destroy them. Burn them. Whatever. Just get rid of these other tapes. Do you hear me? You can't let anyone... Else, watch the <laughs> anyone. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so I think we've seen all the content the game has done. I 